on the Henry's law is we have on the board the Henry's law constant for methyl bromide CH3Br is 0.159 moles per liter per bar at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the solubility of methyl bromide in water at 25 degrees Celsius at the pressure of 130 millimeter of height of mercury? So here you must remember that this MMAG is one more unit of the pressure. As we use different units for the pressure as bar, atmosphere, pascal, newton per meter square and millimeter of height of mercury. In, point, in fact, all these units, they are interconvertible in nature. So here, we are asked to calculate the solubility of methyl bromide in water at 130 mmHg as the pressure. So therefore, again, we are going to solve the problem in three steps as given formula and the solution. So we have only one value which is given as Henry's law constant which is nothing but 0.159 moles per liter per bar as the Henry's law constant which is nothing but the KH and therefore I shall write KH is equal to 0.159 and we have units as moles per liter per bar. So here this is the solubility which is given in unit bar. But we must remember that we are asked to calculate the solubility in MMH and therefore the formula, I shall write the formula for the calculation as the solubility S is equal to KH into P which is strictly according to the Henry's law and therefore this is the Henry's law mathematical expression as S is equal to KH into P. So here we are asked to calculate the solubility. We have given the Henry's law constant and we need the pressure. So the important thing in this problem is that so this is the Henry's law constant which is given over here. This is according to the unit bar and here we are asked to calculate the solubility in this MMH unit. Therefore in solution we have to first convert this MMH into bar. How to convert this MMAG into bar? So as we know that according to the standard relation, we know that at one atmospheric pressure, the value of MMAG is 760 MMAG. And therefore, first we shall convert this 130 MMAG into the atmosphere and then that atmosphere must be converted into the bar pressure. So therefore, we have the standard relation as one atmospheric pressure which is equal to the 760 millimeter of height of mercury. Okay, so this is the standard relation and we have to convert this 7, 130 mmHg into atmosphere. So therefore, I shall write how much atmosphere, so I shall write the question mark is equal to 130 mmHg. So this calculation can be simply given as the cross multiplication. Therefore, I shall multiply this 130 by 1 atmosphere and by dividing it by 760, I can get the pressure in ATM. So I shall write here P, which we have to calculate and we shall calculate the same value over here. So therefore, pressure in atmosphere is given by, we have 130 mmHg into 1 ATM. So I shall write 130 mmHg into 1 ATM divided by we have 760 mmHg. On calculating this 130 divided by 760, we have the answer as 0.171 atmosphere as the value of that 130 into atmospheric pressure. So this is the pressure in atmosphere as the unit. But we must know that according to Henry's law constant, we require the pressure in the unit's bar. And therefore, we are again going to convert this pressure in ATM into the pressure in bar. So, to convert this ATM into bar, we must multiply this ATM by 1.013, which is again the standard relation. 
that therefore i shall write as one atmosphere is equals to 1.013 bar and therefore i need to convert the 0.173 atmosphere into bar therefore for 0.171 atmosphere we have to convert this 0.171 atm into bar multiplying this by 1.013 and therefore the value of 0.171 atm into bar can be simply obtained by 0.171 into 1.013 bar and on multiplication of this we get the value of 0.173 bar as the pressure and therefore this is the required conversion of 130 mmg into bar as so i shall repeat once again this conversion so actually we have given the pressure in mmg we have converted this mmg by taking the standard deviation as 1 atm is equal to 760 mmg therefore 130 mmg is equal to how much pressure in atm so by cross multiplication we get the value of pressure as 0.171 atm and that atm is again converted into bar as we know that standard deviation as 1 atm is equal to 1.013 bar therefore 0.171 atm is equal to 0.171 into 0.1073 bar which is equal to 0.173 bar so this is the value of pressure and this is the value of henry's law constant so by using these two values we can calculate the solubility very easily therefore to obtain the final answer by using this henry's law we have s is equals to kh into p put the values of kh and p so kh which is 0.159 with units as moles per liter per bar into pressure in bar unit is taken is calculated as 0.173 bar this bar per bar gets cancelled and the solubility of this methyl bromide is given by 0.271 moles per liter on multiplying 0.159 with this 0.173 the answer is 0.271 as the final answer and the unit for this as moles per liter so this is the solubility of methyl bromide at this pressure so this is the problem hope you have understood this problem also in this particular project we require the knowledge of conversion of different units of pressure to sadharanta baka akravicha tumcha pustaka madhe liquids and gases now the states of matter now the topic hai that topic madhe tumhala pressure se conversions bagayla mi tumhi tya pressure cha conversions na thoda refer kara jyamule tumhala ha problem ya tikani sahaj asayi samjhe tar ya channel vrti je kay apan numericals yena hai ti ya paddhatine bore vrti geuya ज्यामुळे हे एक्सप्लेनेशन देणं आपल्याला सोपं होईल थँक्यू